Hi guys, it's me, Taylor. Um, I would like to talk about how my fiance and my son saved my life this year. My body feels foreign to me. All these changes are happening and they're so new. Sometimes I don't know how to cope with them. There's the hormones, the food cravings, the swollen feet, the aching back, the heartburn, the extreme fatigue, the big round belly, and of course those amazing little kicks and punches in my uterus from my growing little one. I think the biggest change that's difficult for me to come to terms with, however, is my weight. I have always been pretty average in the weight category. Even as a preemie newborn, I was 5 pounds and 12 ounces, and for someone born 6 weeks early, it's really not that small. My average weight since high school has been between 130, 150. For most of my life, I was pretty okay with this. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. Luckily for me, I got my mother's genes, meaning when I gain weight, it's pretty spread out. I don't feel I've ever truly looked fat or obese. I've always worn my weight curvaceously, and most of the time, I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> However, the year before I became pregnant with my son, I struggled with an eating disorder. An ex-boyfriend of mine called me chubby. <laughs> And even though he tried to save face by calling it a cute attribute, it shattered my self-esteem. I began restricting my calories every day, to the point where some days I just didn't eat at all. I took up smoking to try and curb my hunger cravings. When that didn't work and I ended up binging on copious amounts of food, I resorted to throwing it up right after to try and make up for my mistake. I lost 20 pounds that way but still felt like shit about myself. So I started indulging in substances that would speed up my metabolism, keep me up all night, give me an insane amount of energy, and what I believe to be best of all made me not hungry. I, may, may, I maybe ate once a week and only slept every few nights or so. I was not healthy. And all honestly, I, I believe I was dying. No, I was, I was slowly killing myself. It wasn't all about looks either. A part of me was so hateful and resentful towards the pathetic thing that I had become that the more I wasted myself away, the more content I was with my own existence. So fast forward to the day that I found out I was pregnant. I was more terrified than anything. I knew that for the previous six weeks or so, I had been unknowingly growing a child, and I was not taking care of myself. In fact, I was hurting myself, my body, and the little being growing inside of me. I felt horrible. I cried and cried, wondering if I could be good enough to be the mother of this little angel. And I knew right then and there that things had to change. I had already had a small inkling that I might be pregnant the week leading up to actually taking the test. I stopped all substance taking in fear that it might be true. But I was still starving myself. I was still wishing for a smaller body, for less of me to take up less space in this world. For less of me to take up space in this world. But when I got that positive pregnancy test, things changed instantly in my mind. No longer was my body my own. It now belonged to another. A being I knew I had to take care of. A being I knew I would someday love more than anything in this world. I began eating whenever I was hungry. I slept every night. I wasn't immediately happy. I was having difficulty adjusting to this life-changing event. And everything that it involved physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. It took about two weeks for my body to finally feel like it was really starting to heal. After those two weeks of sleeping and eating and crying, I started to feel a little better. I started to take short walks every day. Just the small yet so significant change of eating and sleeping and exercising started to make me feel stronger. My bones no longer ached. My head no longer hurt. My eyes were no longer sunk in. My smile was no longer strained. The strength slowly started to build and eventually I felt like I was no longer dying. In fact, I felt like I was thriving. I gained the weight pretty fast. By the end of my first trimester, I had gained 25 pounds, the weight I was told I should gain over my entire pregnancy. But looking back at my body before I found out I was pregnant, I was stick thin. My joints were jagged and sticking out from beneath my skin. My ribs were clearly visible and my face looked half dead. If I had not gained the weight I did and as quickly as I did, I would have lost the pregnancy. My son would have died and I would have followed right behind. I started out at 125 pounds and now in the middle of my second trimester, I'm 171. By the end of my pregnancy, that number will most likely be even bigger. 
It's difficult to get used to because I've never been above 150 in my life. <laughs> my thighs look like sacks of lard. My toes look like sausages. My face is like the Pillberry Doughboys. And don't even get me started on my arms. But I look at myself in the mirror every day and I see a beautiful goddess radiating before me. I'm such a different person than I was a few short months ago. I hardly recognize myself. And for the first time in my life, I love myself. No, my pregnancy was not planned by me. If I had been given the choice right then and there to conceive or not to conceive, I would have chosen not to conceive. I didn't feel ready. I didn't feel healthy. I didn't feel worthy. And looking back, I probably wasn't. But I do believe this pregnancy was planned by somebody. God, goddess, universe, fate, or maybe even my son himself, knowing that if he didn't act soon, he'd never get the chance. But this is why I believe 100% that my son saved my life. And he didn't act alone. My fiance helped me get to a place where I could handle something of this magnitude. If I had gotten pregnant by any other man, I believe I would have wanted my pregnancy ended, and that's coming from someone who doesn't personally believe in abortion. Before I met my fiance, I hated myself and my life. In April 2013, I had tried to kill myself. I wouldn't have wanted to bring a child into my fucked up world. But my fiance took me in and cared for me in a, in a way nobody ever has before. He would bring me food and gently coax, coax me into eating it. I was about 110 pounds before he started to care for me and I gained about 10 pounds just from his care. He gave me shelter and love and a listening ear to understand me. I wanted to kill myself before I met him. And he gave me hope. I wasn't ready to love myself or totally change yet, but he taught me that my life wasn't completely worthless. This has been the most insane and wonderful journey of my life. And I've never been more amazed at the healing power of love and the miraculous metamorphosis of pregnancy. I know this has been a long story, <laughs> but it's mine and I, need, and I needed to share it. I will look back on these days and smile with tears in my eyes because the two most important men in my life, my fiance and my son, they truly saved me. And I wouldn't even be able to look back if it weren't for them. Thanks for watching. Bye.